Hey everyone, it's Jen here, and we are going to be working on doing some cooking today. And uh, we're calling it Anyone Can Cook From Home. So um, I did want to remind everyone to get signed up for summer reading and to make sure you're logging your minutes so that you can uh, get credit and uh, win some prizes for reading. So uh, today we're gonna make a microwave chocolate mug cake. And what's really cool about this recipe is it's perfect for just one recipe. And you know those times when you feel like you want something sweet but you don't want to get out and get the mixer and make a whole huge cake and then you have tons of leftovers. This is perfect just for one person and it's very customizable. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I have all my ingredients laid out ahead of time. And that's actually a really smart way to cook or bake, okay? And that way you know you put everything into your recipe, okay? Now we're dealing with very small amounts of ingredients here. So they fit perfectly in these little tiny cups here. So to start, I do wanna go over a few things. So one, when you're measuring things like dry ingredients, you need to make sure that you use a knife to level off your ingredients, okay? So you scoop them up and you level them off. Here, let me show you how. Hi. Okay, so when you're leveling off your ingredients with a tablespoon or really any measuring device, what you want to do is you want to scoop an overflow amount of your ingredient and then you take the flat end of the knife and you level it off. Okay? That way you get the most precise measurement of any dry ingredient. Okay guys, now that we have shown you how to properly measure a dry ingredient using a measuring spoon, um, I've got my recipe on my computer screen and I'm gonna make sure that I'm following it very closely. And uh, one more thing to remember is in recipes, they'll use a lot of abbreviations. And make sure you understand the difference between tablespoons and teaspoons, okay? Because that'll make a huge different in, difference in your recipe. Tablespoons, most of the time, will have a big T and then B S P, and teaspoons will have a little T that, and it'll say T S P. So, okay, so in my bowl, I'm going to have two tablespoons of flour, two tablespoons of cocoa powder. Okay, and one thing to remember, that is this, okay, baking cocoa. So two tablespoons of that. Because right now we're going to whisk in our dry ingredients. Two tablespoons of sugar. And here I have a fourth of a teaspoon of baking powder. Make sure you use baking powder and not baking soda. Okay, so we're gonna whisk these ingredients in until they're combined. All right, that looks good. And then we are going to stir in our milk, which is three tablespoons of milk, and I added the vanilla extract right to it, and it's half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and then three tablespoons of melted butter in the mic that I melted in the microwave, okay, so then we're going to mix this until it's smooth. This recipe does not have any eggs, so that's why it's safe to cook in your microwave. 
Okay, and then the last thing is we're gonna add in our chocolate chips, okay? This is where you could get really creative. You could add uh, peanut butter chips, you could add caramel chips, you could add toffee, you could add Snickers bars, you could add fruit. Okay, so then we are going to, I got a mug here, and you wanna make sure it's microwave safe, okay? So then we're going to pour our mixture into the mug. Okay guys, so got the mixture into the mug and make sure you use a big enough mug so that you have plenty of space at the top because the cake is gonna rise while it's cooking in the microwave. Okay, so we are going to put it in the microwave on high for one to two minutes and then we'll see what happens. Okay, our mug cake is out of the microwave and this is what it looks like. I cooked it for one and a half minutes and I think that's gonna be perfect. So let's take a look, see what it looks like inside. Wow, that looks delicious. I can't wait to try it. Okay, so I will put the recipe in the details of the video and um, remember be creative and add any kind of ingredients you think might taste really good in there and if you make it and you um, like it or you want to share what you added to your recipe make sure to add, include that in the comments thanks for tuning in next time we will be trying to make another recipe at home thanks guys